So we're suggesting that Lebanon's national resilience as a state and as a society should be built from within, and that's the way, that's the place where international efforts and focus um, should go. And there are two components to that, according to our research. Firstly, reconciling society, um, which involves looking back to move forward. And that's talking about relationships between people, between groups, between communities that underpinned the civil war and that have remained fractious since the civil war and have not been addressed due to what is known as the official amnesia and refusal to deal with the past, which had come from the top down. The second component is uh, reforming state institutions and public administration. Uh, lots of promises were made at the Thai peace agreement in 1989 have not been implemented. There are big gaps between a top echelon of very rich and very privileged and an increasing majority of unrepresented and very poor. And that's where Lebanon's vulnerability lies. And in the long term, that's the place to look for increasing Lebanon's resilience and uh, reinforcing its um, national capacity to deal with pressures from outside, such as we're seeing in Syria today.